Good evening. Parents are concerned after a string of reported suicides at Albuquerque Public Schools. Tonight, school officials met with parents as family and friends of one teen who recently died gathered to remember her. News 13's Courtney Allen is live at Manzano High School this evening with details. Courtney. Dean Jess, there was an emotional vigil here tonight for the latest Albuquerque Public School student to die by suicide. There wasn't a dry eye. She was my baby. I loved her dearly. As dozens gathered outside Manzano High. She had a million friends um, and this came as such a total shock. To honor the life of senior Hannah Ulibari. As a survivor of uh, a family member of suicide, you, you really go through waves of emotion that just aren't describable. Her stepmother says the bowling team member Honor student and student senate treasurer was loved by many. I think that's what's so um, devastating about it to know that she um, always cared so much about other people but um, couldn't take care of herself. She is now the second Manzano student to die by suicide in one week. After the first um, suicide at the school, you know, we sat down and we talked with her about about death, about how she was feeling, and it was clear she was very impacted. Manzano isn't the only school facing tragedy. Parents say at Sandia High there was reportedly a suicide last month, and there have been a few reported at other schools in the district as well this school year. APS would not confirm those numbers with us. They told News 13 there is no reason to track student suicides as it is unrelated to instruction at school. People we spoke with tonight disagree. It definitely translates at school. I just feel like everyone at school, it just, I don't know, it just doesn't feel the same after things like this happen. While there was a meeting at the school tonight to help the community cope with recent losses, some families would like to see more done to prevent losing another life. I do hope that APS will um, put together a plan to be more proactive in helping students so that we can stop this epidemic. Some students told us tonight they would like to see mental health worked into the curriculum at APS. The district says they provide services for all students, such as counseling. Back to you. All right, Courtney, thank you. Hannah's family has put together an endowment fund to raise money for crisis intervention and development for educators. That link is it always on krqe.com.